and I push seven. Join World Travel Bureau and Jamaica tours in Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Meals including dinner and private farm homes. Accommodation. Okay, what, what number do you change? What happened? Change. Put six. Six. For more information, okay. call World Travel Bureau. And then I want. TV ten. KTTC Rochester. Okay. Five eight eight. When Jimmy Barr starts to blah blah. <laughs> On the yeah. piece of candy? No. Are you sure? Yeah. And then he doesn't get you. <laughs> That's not fair. It gets you too. You better come and shut our picture off. Why? Well, this is getting kind of, you're going to be kind of tired of looking at that same old lady all the time. Mm -hmm. Where did you get your fancy cap? Cap? Hold on, it's a baseball cap. Last year's baseball cap. person could have to register all your uh, antiques for sure. insurance or something. Yeah. Yeah, you should take a picture of my geranium up there. Boy, it's that been zooming. You oh. got it now. That was really pretty. I picked my tulips today, too. How are you going to get took? <laughs> I'm sure you got your pants on. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't very well pull that on anybody if they were watching at all, could you? No. With that little red light. No, the red light that flickers. That kind of gives it away. Right. I can put something over that to cover it up. Darken. Yeah, but of course you should, uh, you should have that too, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, you have to have it there. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I don't know why in the world that ticket was. I thought when I got way down to three that I'd sure win. How much did, what did you win on out in the car then? One or one something? Over. Just one over. Yeah. This guy it was what, five runs and you had six or no, three I had, and four? I had three. I had three I should have three runs and I had only two and then I should have six and got four. How long have they been doing this baseball one? They change what every three or four months? Oh, it isn't that long. This is the first time that you played this one. Yeah, I've only played this one once too. The last one 
we played. That last one was rotten, but this ain't any better. I haven't had any good luck with this neither. Rosie Henderson got some at that uh, Red Dollar grocery store in Lake Wilson. She got a thousand dollars. Have you played the lotto? No. Huh. You want to see my lotto? I played the lotto at home on... <laughs> well, you, you do your own and then see if, if I you I do my one. own and you see how... You can tell right there I wouldn't spend any money. <laughs> Golly, I just don't make it at all. What well, do so you take, like, birthdays and... Well, I did that too that once. I took everybody's birthday and I took the years and... Oh, fiddle lady, that don't work at all. There's one guy that comes down to Red Owl and Lake Mills from the cities. And he comes every week, he comes on Monday, and he cleans out the grocery store out of all the lotto tickets they've got. They must have only so many or something. But he buys, well that last time he was down, he bought $350 worth at, at Red Owl. And that's what he generally does. And he said he's got so much money, he said it doesn't make any difference. But he wins and he loses and he wins and he loses. Well, he's bound to lose. Because you can't win all the time. Well, well but, he's got so much money, this just a, well, it's just a but pastime that, that, for that, There's hopeless. I cannot. You know, it's no worse than, uh, than if a guy spends his money uh, on a golf course or... Oh, a drinking or something. Yeah. Okay, just as well. <laughs> but yeah. but it, it lasts mighty too. short, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, for there's computer programs to sit and figure out your lotto numbers. Oh yeah. Now like some of the, I know some, go, well he goes up to the store and he lets them play part of them, you know. He lets the girls put in some of them. And then, but he wins. I don't know how much he's won, but he's won quite a bit. His picture was in the paper and everything. He comes down to Red Owl. Every Monday morning, I think it is, he comes. Well, they should send that up to Perpich to see how the see Minnesota... If he Minnesota money is going it out of state. Down to Iowa. We'll see Wisconsin now just uh, okay to. Why are they lottery. doing it too? They're going to have a lottery over there now too. It's just yeah. North and South Dakota that don't have one. And Minnesota. Mm -hmm. They don't have borders. So. Yeah. But, uh, well, how come you guys are so against it? Or too many religious people up there. That everybody's going to go broke. So they got the horse track in first. Oh, yeah. Well, I know uh, Ranstead, you know, don't like it on account of uh, the poor people. And, of course, that's what it is. It's uh, people that don't have the money hoping they'll get some, you know, and then and they, don't have to, they don't get any. They don't have to play it. No, they don't have to, but he just figures that it's the, yeah. they're the ones that will do it before anybody else will. Is it in there, Corey? Mm-mm. Was it? Maybe it's in today's book. That's crazy. I thought that was a Miley girl? I don't think so. They're not the same year, you know, that means so. She's not one to go out and just look up somebody and say hi. No, she probably wouldn't. Chris probably would. Chris is a little bit different. So they called yesterday. I talked to Chris. And she, she's got, she just bubbles over all the time. I don't know, but she's the bubbliest character. She's giving blood on Saturday. And she sent me a, she sent me a birthday card. No, she sent Grandpa and Grandma Easter card. And then she said she was going to give blood. I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> but then I then she called, Jerry called yesterday, so I talked to the girls. And, and then I asked her, oh, just fine. But some of them, she said, they pretty near fainted. But I didn't. <laughs> and I thought, no, not, not Chris. <laughs> I don't know how many trees Jerry had to get out yesterday, but it was quite a few because the guy was going to come and take the stumps off today. So and, uh, would you talk to him later in the day or early then? Well, it was about noon, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, he'd, he'd been out there and chopped down trees, and then he came home for dinner because he had all the quick legs, you know. Oh, 
And so then he came home to come for dinner, but he said, I got to go out again, company. Well, I said, haven't you got company, company or no company? He said, I'm going to have to go because he had just so many to, to get out. And he said, I got to get them out because he said they come to take the stumps out tomorrow and then dig the, well, I suppose the guys that dig the basement could dig the stumps out, couldn't they? No, I suppose it's not. their job. No, no that's they're there just job. to dig a basement. Yeah. And then he was going to see if he couldn't get the guys to... Because when they dig that basement, they'll have to fight those roots the whole time. Well, that's it, you know. But he was going to have them. somebody bring a... More or less, I don't know which one, but... One of them had said they could bring a flatbed or something and then haul the branches and the trees away. Well, the trees he wasn't going to, but the branches he branches, was going to. Branches, yeah, he'd want to cut the... He had burnt the them the other day, but he burnt them on the other side of the road, right down by the water, so he yeah. said he'd... Yeah, he got to be careful. Well, they said over at Albert Lee this morning, they lifted that red flag like down on the burning. Because it was supposed to rain in Minnesota this afternoon. Well... They were talking 30% when we left town, and, uh... It was snowing in, uh, Montana. Was it? I got six inches of snow last night. Gee, I hope we don't get snow. Ish. Well, I don't know. That, huh? That lets the moisture, as it melts, it soaks in more than if it rained six inches. Yeah, but you don't get much. Well... It takes, what, 10 inches of snow to get an inch Yeah, but think of what 10 inches of snow would do. Break down everything there is. Well, yeah. We won't get that now, probably. No, we don't need it now. Mm -hmm. it look like a wilderness around here in a couple of years. They're putting all this land in 10 years, you know. 10 years what? 10 years, like if that had Soil bank it. stuff? If Dad had put the farm in that, then you seed it this year and you never touch it again. Well, that'll be good for the pheasants. Yeah, it'll be good for the, the pheasants, but crazy. sure will be real nice for for fires too. Well, this, yeah, this but place, here, if this you're, piece up here, your fields, if they burn off, they'll just grow back greener the next well, year. Well, yeah, they would. Yeah. This uh, this field of Danny's here, he put that in. So from the woods and up now, it'll all be grass. That's really going to help the pheasants and that stuff, the wildlife. Yeah. Now, is that just an Iowa program or a federal? Federal, I think. I don't know. I know it's Iowa. How you leave it for 10 years? 10 years. What if you sell in between? Well, that's the thing, see. Then it, does that break it off then? No. The next no. guy has to take it that way. The one has to take it that way. That's why... Some what do they the, what do they pay you to do it? How much an acre? Ninety dollars an acre. What's rent going for? And then oh, what is it going for that now, you know. And then uh, this year they got that bonus of two dollars a bushel on the, their crop for last year. So you see that helped the heck of a lot because like if you had a hundred if you had a hundred bushel average on then you got two dollars a bushel. You also got two hundred dollars there. So that way, why it uh, it got to be quite a Like Raymond, he put some of that duellas in, you know. And I don't think he put any at home in, but, but uh, Mike didn't try here, he tried Johnny's, but he didn't get it in. You had to meet certain requirements before you could. It has to be decent land, you know, to take out a crop. Yeah. You can't just put a bunch of trees in there or something like that. No. They have somebody that comes out and checks. Oh yeah, it's measured. They they come out and check it before you can are approved to get it. You know. 
Oh, we probably shouldn't have done it, but we'll never live 10 years out here. And then what are you going to do at the end of 10 years? If I know Cliff, he, did, he called the kids and asked what he thought they should do, because he said, I won't be here 10 years from now. Or Cliff ought to be. He's only 60. But after you, but if you decide to sell, that doesn't break the agreement. Mm -hmm. oh, Transfer uh, the ownership doesn't break the agreement. And then, then you see, I bet that'll get changed. Then you see if if you uh, well say both of us aren't here at the end of ten years, which could really easy happen. Well, then you kids are stuck with the farm sitting this way, and you have to get yourselves down here and cut the weeds, you got to keep it free of weeds well, you just and stuff, you know. You just hire somebody local to do that. Well, yeah, you'd have to do that, but then well, you, you see. You end up doing stuff like that anyway. Well, <coughs> yeah, but that's, that's what happens, you know. And then if you can't get anybody local to do it, that you can, and then you see that takes money to do that too. So, uh, All right. And oh, now, man, like, now like, like this first deal. this first time now, you see, you've got to get it this, you got to get it seeded, and it costs you your seed, and it costs you your spray, and all that. So it costs, I don't know that they'll make a heck of a lot that first year. Of course, the government pays half of the seed. The you, you just seed it into a, can't you seed it into like a alfalfa or something that you can harvest? No, you can't touch it. It has to just stand that way. No, you can't. You can't use it. You can't pasture it or anything like that. It just has to. Can you just? Can you still be into it like next year? Uh uh. You can never do it. Maybe this was just a one-time shot to get it's in. One time. Well, you get your ninety dollars every year. Yeah, but I mean to get in it, you can't. If you didn't get in it this year, you can't get in it Well, they're year. doing it again in July, if a person wants to try for July. I don't know. Are you going to try for July? I don't know. Well, since, you know, sit down and figure it out. Well, it puts the renter in a heck of a predicament, do you know? Some of these, uh, some of these. You want to, you want me to take it off of there and put that in and you can just walk around and take it out in the house? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is taping. Be sure you don't. Is this set up? Yeah. Okay. Gracias.